welcome back. We have Howie Fan and Paco Vallejo with us. The game finished in a draw. Was second light, longest game of this round. So you find maybe you can start telling what happened in this game. Well, yeah, we played a kind of a rare line and it goes to, okay, a kind of, uh, we exchanged the queen and the position should be around the equal, but somehow I felt I felt comfortable with my position. I felt some moment with 9b5, a5, it goes wrong, but uh, the serious mistake could be like, uh, I shouldn't go c5, the position will always be fine at least. Okay, but later on I thought Paco played very good with start from the loop move like rook c8 h5 and somehow I thought it was really bad for white and uh, well Did you still play g5 after h5 yes but then well I have my weakness on h4 and uh, this b6 pawn could be protected by rook c6 I didn't real I mean I thought that only black could you know play around and uh, okay so I decided to go something more direct but I think uh, it so it doesn't really work out. Uh, I think maybe just at the uh, move 40, um, back could try the move like h2 first and then to play king d6 uh, if it uh, matters with this uh, one more rank, I thought. Okay, so later on, it was like a theoretical rook end game. Paco, what is your version? Well, okay, it was some little bit strange French opening and. Uh, well, I, at some point I was worse, I think, but then she, well, probably she, because of time travel a little bit, and she just played a few inaccuracies, maybe, and then I was completely winning. And probably between move 35 and 40, I'm winning in different moments or something like that. But I managed to find a way no, not to be winning, and probably after time control, I think it's a draw already, although... I don't know, I think she found some strange defense. I thought uh, another defense was easier for her, but maybe what she played was also kind of okay. But uh, what I did with my king at some point, I also couldn't understand myself. But in in fact, uh, it's another draw for me, and well, it's a very disappointing tournament for me, but what to do. That um, variation, what you find proposed to push the pawn first to h2 and then to play king d6, could it make any difference? What do you think? Well, but I wasn't sure if the pawn on h2 will be so good because the king will block on h1. And then I wasn't sure because he, she will start to give million checks and the pawn on h2 is also not that great. And uh, because, yeah, I think the, the pawn on h3, I thought it could be also good, but... In the game, I just cannot manage to to push f4 in good conditions, and uh, maybe it's just a draw already. Although I didn't understand why she plays rook b1, rook b3 instead of just keeping the third rank, which seemed to me easier. But uh, gave me this chance to go king d2, and I'm not sure. I felt like I had some chance already there, but maybe it's just in my imagination. Probably I was too tired already and too disappointed also to to get this position after what I had. So. Okay, thank you so much for your comment.